Kimsey at the third. Third shot off a little bit of an upslope. That'll give it a bit of natural self-elevation. Pin today, 25 eight off that right, that back right hand corner. And this is going to get brilliant. Look at this, filters down now. Beautiful shot. This flag just says, Come on, have me. Begging for a one, isn't it? Almost. Oh, it is. Kimsey hit the hole. Oh, I did a little better than that. Nicely done going at some pace. First birdie of the day, they're back to level. One under par for the tournament. Kimsey. Yeah, just on the edge of the fairway. Same club in hand. Sounded like a sweet strike and he's holding the pose. Oh, might be a bit down the left. Yeah, oh, just fractionally off the green, but that was a nice shot. Chip and putt from there, that'll be a birdie. Back over to nine. Nathan Kimsey now. Yeah, nice drive. Trick of this, although ball above your stance. Trying to work it hard against it. This green predominantly slopes from right to left. Watch this one zip down towards it. Beautiful shot. Oh, thank you very much. Kimsey now fast putt this one. Will move a smidge off his right. Track in, track in, and he's got it. A little fist pump. Good run of birdies. Look at that. Four birdies in. It's gone off the screen now. Thanks very much. <laughs> Kimsey for birdie. This to tie the lead. Nathan Kimsey, who got his maiden challenge tour victory earlier this season, climbs to the summit. Here's the red hot Nathan Kimsey. Oh, he had that as well. Like the run of birdies comes to an end, but a good part. Now to Kimsey. Birdie putt to join Langdon and Sandy at six under. Well, it's an eagle putt, in fact. He's left himself more work than he would have liked for the birdie. This to tie the lead. Always looked a little bit right off the blade. Putting for eagle and walking off with a par. At the 14th. Where's that hole? One drop shot today for Nathan Kimsey. That came at the first hole. Had a great run from the six. But it's six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. He's thrown three pars in since then. And he's right up there at five under. Good spot. Been quite well on 19 on you can see it there just over that bunker just on the right side of this green but it'll go straight at it it's not a long hole this 15th 357 yards and there it is straight at it Pitch mark just slowing it down a bit as well just as well good shot birdie attempt for kimsey to try and jump out of the pack on five under Problem. Nicely done, new leader. 
I think he heard you guys describe him as a steady player earlier and he's thought, do you know what, I'm going to show them because that is six, seven birdies. Six birdies, sorry, today. I can count, honestly. Yeah, no, I thought you could, yeah. No. <laughs> Let's go to Nathan Kimsey at the 16th, tough par four. Seems happy enough with the drive. Yep, just wanders into the first cup. No problems at all for the Englishman. Plenty of green to work with. It's pin 30 on today, just off the left edge of the green. Straight back towards the ocean here. Oh, that's three. Yeah, they'll take those. It's, it's a really tough hole, the 16th. So three good shots in there. Up a little slope here to start with. Flattening out at the top. Probably just missed left if you hit it. Opening hole today, the fairly straightforward par five. Plenty of good stuff since then from Kimsey. Got his first challenge tour victory in France earlier this year. It's already been a good season. Came into the week six on the rankings. Projected at the moment to be the rankings winner, the number one player of the challenge tour season. Good shot would look very good from the tee, just maybe half the club too much. Take that though, knock it on there in, uh, in par, make your par on all the par threes, you'd be very happy. This to nudge ahead to get to seven under, clear of Eastern Baldwin and Sadie. Seventeen, Kimsey with the par putt now. Looks like it's only a couple of feet, doesn't it, from that angle? I suspect it's slightly more. He's in a lovely spot, actually, Nathan Kimsey, in the respect of his position in the tournament. You know, he's he's sixth in the rankings. He's going to get his card, which is great stuff. He knows he's going to play on the DP World Tour, so he's not worried about that at all. He's playing to win this tournament now. One drop shot, as you were saying, Dom, on the first hole, the par five. So he's played very nicely since then, six under since the first. Yeah, nice bounce. Just kicked in and kicked a little left, which will help. The tree in front of him should be okay. So Kimsey has just about clung on to the right-hand side of the fairway at 18. You see the, uh, the lighter of the pine trees away in the distance. That's where the flag is. Gradually uphill, your second shot that end of the drive. Up to 18. Let's see if Kimsey can sign off with a birdie here. To climb alongside Bryce Easton in a share of the lead. Oh, what an excellent day that was. 
Nathan Kimsey, 66 for Nathan Kimsey. 70-73 the first two days. Dropped a shot at the first hole. Seven under since then. Great stuff. Nathan, one over par after five holes and then you catch fire. What changed? Uh, just for staying patient really. Obviously, uh, yeah, we got off to a bit of a nightmare start, all three of us on the first and um, yeah, just kind of made a few pars after that and couldn't really get things going. But um, yeah, sort of made a couple of putts and then um, I felt like I was hitting it pretty nice anyway. So just knew I had to just keep just keep pushing on and just uh, like have faith that um, a few putts would drop. How gettable was the course out there, especially in comparison to yesterday? Yeah, like um, I don't want to say it was easy. Um, I think just the nature of this course and setup is makes it pretty tough anyway. But um, yeah, obviously with a little bit less wind today, it felt um, it felt a bit more gettable, and a few flags I, I think were a little bit friendlier today. So it felt like you could give yourself a lot more chances than than the last two days for sure. You came into this week sixth on the road to Mallorca rankings. You knew you had your DP World Tour card sewn up. Did that make things a bit easier? Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's obviously nice coming here um, for the first time for me that, like, I don't have to um, have that experience of, of fighting for my card uh, in that sort of first first visit to Grand Final. So, yeah, it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off. But um, at the end of the day, I've just tried to treat it as another golf tournament that I want to go out there and win. After that fantastic third round today, what do you focus on about yourself to enable you to go out there and do that again tomorrow? It's just, it's just the same things, um, yeah, just uh, making sure I commit to the, the golf shots that I'm trying to hit and, um, yeah, just uh, have patience and, and know that, you know, if I, if I play some good golf and hold a few putts, I know I'm going to be there or thereabouts come, come 18 tomorrow, so just more of the same, really.